This is the most crazy week of my whole life. The Climate Commission had been putting climate change on the media agenda for about three years at the time. The first act of the government ended up being to abolish the Climate Commission. This morning, the Climate Commission had been abolished. Tony Abbott has sacked a former Australian of the Year. Abbott was not a fan. <laughs> We felt that we hadn't finished our job. And I said to Tim, you know, what if we made this a not-for-profit organisation and actually continued? And Tim just started rubbing his hands together and saying, yes. Amanda and Tim put out a press release to say, we're going to build this new body, but we need public support. Today, I'm delighted to announce the creation of the Australian Climate Council. Tim announced the fact that from midnight, uh, the website would be open. We were just waiting to see those, those first donations come in. Oh, my heart was really in my throat. A couple of minutes past midnight, the first donation came in. We got our first donation from Joel. From New South Wales. For $15, I could have kissed their little stubby toes. Yes, we got something. And that's when things started to get crazy. I kept on getting phone calls from Graham Lloyd from The Australian. How much have you got now? And I'd say, oh, a few thousand bucks, you know. And how much you got now? He was obviously hoping he could declare a failure on the front page of The Australian. When we got to about $60,000, I think the phone call stopped. <laughs> I got up the next day and the money's coming in, you know, there's 100,000, 150,000. By that afternoon, there was 220,000 that had come in. Whoa. Oh my God, what's happening? We had so many funds coming in that PayPal suspected that we were onto something illegal. So they cut donations arriving for a while. PayPal shut us down. So I have to ring Tim and say, we need a picture of your license. To prove to them that we are real people and not Russian gangsters laundering money. And Tim's on the Hawkesbury River, <laughs> heading home. <laughs> I, I just needed a break. There was one man in a tinny. Wandering around on the water, trying to get coverage from a remote station. It was sort of, it was just surreal. By the end of sort of the next 10 days, we'd raised $1.3 million, which was greater than the budget of the previous Climate Commission as the biggest fundraiser in Australian history. Look, it wasn't just the money. Through that week, we had people coming saying, we can give you accommodation to set your office up in. Other people saying, can I come and volunteer for you? you know? The connection with the Australian community has been really our shining light. I still, I still feel emotional about it, actually, because it was, that was the big injection of hope for me that's still like lasting me five years on. We said we'd go to 2020 and review. As it turns out, there is still a huge job to be done. So we, we are here for the long term. The Climate Council has been the number one voice in the media on climate change. And three of the top five spokespeople on the issue have consistently been from the Climate Council. As we come up to our fifth birthday, I can't help but feel pleased that the Climate Council has outlasted the Prime Ministership of Tony Abbott by some years now. I've got to ask you this, was it worth it? I hope it was worth it, mate.